She might be dead. I may have just pranked my dead girlfriend. Uh, hey everybody, welcome to the Rim Vlog. So after Iverson died, Nicole and I decided we needed to take a trip. So we booked a trip to New York City. Now every time we fly out of LAX, there's a service that picks up a downtown Long Beach called Fly Away. It's super easy, it's super convenient, it's super cheap, it's only like $9, so let's just start this from there. Let's go to the flyaway. As we arrived to the flyaway to help some crazy lady get her luggage off, me and Nicole had the whole back of the shuttle to ourselves. It was a bumpy ride. Like, really bumpy. We get to LAX and Nicole proceeded to take us on a wild goose chase. She took us in, she took us out, she took us in, and out, and right. She took us around, and left. Then in, then up, then through, and left, and right, then up, again. Then finally through TSA. We had time to kill, so we found a bar. And lucky me, they still had October. And we made it to New York. Let's do this thing. Hey everybody, welcome to the Rim Vlog. It wouldn't be a Rim Vlog if we didn't run into a snafu. First snafu of the day. We're it's here. Dummy. I'm not a dummy. This dummy. Why am I a dummy? Because you brought your drone and yeah. tried to take it over to the Statue of Liberty. No, I brought my drone Bingo. in the bag. I wasn't trying to like fly it over the Statue of Liberty or anything. I don't know that. They got rules, and you're oh, trying to break them. Anyway, we had tickets to do a 12 o'clock tour of the uh, Statue of Liberty, and we got all the way to the front of the line, did the little check-in, and guess what? They don't allow drones. I didn't bring my drone to fly it, but we couldn't check into the hotel yet, and I have it in my bag. Wasn't going to leave it at the hotel. We couldn't get in. So we're gonna try this again tomorrow. For now, we're going over here to the World Trade Center. This is the way we walk in New York. This is the way we walk in New York. This is the way we walk in New York. This is the way we walk in New York. So we're about to come up on the newest World Trade Center. Last time I was here was 2002, when it was just two uh, empty pits after the disruption. Two cheese slices, please. Actually, you know what? We make that one cheese, one pepperoni. Are you up 
pizza. Where's that? Get deep this shit. Trying to have a romantic pizza moment. She doesn't want to have a romantic pizza moment. So we decided we're gonna go to the top of the World Trade Center tomorrow since it might be raining tomorrow and it's technically inside. Today, we are doing the vessel. It's this brand new structure they just constructed. I think it's probably less than a month old. But how cool is that? So we're gonna climb up there, go around and get some shots. Let's go. So the snafus aren't done for the day. We just tried to get tickets to go up here and we did get tickets but the first available time to go up there is 4 30 and we ain't got time for that we got a Red Sox Yankees game to go to all right now you'll get the full effect of it it's all right it's better than the other stuff we use but it's not my favorite smell in the world you don't like any smells I like the smell of my own farts. Yeah, I know. When you don't feel like buying the product, but you want to use the product. No. Now that I can like really smell it, I'm not feeling it. Really? Yeah. But it's better than the other stuff you use. Okay, well I need something. See what sort of a swanky room we have, if at all a swanky room. This is it, huh? Where's the rest of the room? I don't know, but it's Harry Potter. Where's the rest of the room? No diving. So it looks like I get to watch you shower while I take a shit. Yep, this is a tiny ass room. All right, so I have once again found another place that uh, doesn't allow GoPros. It's a bar that doesn't allow a GoPro. Too bad because I was really hoping to get some cool shots of Mr. Empire State Building there behind me. But regardless, waiting for Nicole to get here from the uh, from the room. We're pre-gaming before the Red Sox game. Probably have a drink here and then uh, head over to Yankee Stadium. In this place, you actually uh, can play a little putt-putt. Let's see if I got some skills. That lip will get you every single time. Nothing. This, this is how cold it is. Look at the top of my fingers. Frostbitten like a mofo. Anyway, socks are up three nothing. Let's go. All right. So the Red Sox didn't win. It's okay. But 
We are in a very famous train station, Grand Central Station. Day number two. Yesterday was filled with snafus left and right. Tried to get on the ferry to go see the Statue of Liberty and that didn't work out because I had my drone. Today, I have my backpack, but not my drone. This should be smooth sailing. Also yesterday, it was crazy busy over here. We're hoping that's not like that today. Weather's kind of shitty, overcast. Uh, it's expected to rain about a 40% chance at, what is it, one o'clock? Yeah. So this could be a wet adventure. But we're always up for adventures, even if they're wet. So certainly one positive is buying the tickets online so you don't have to wait. And all that line right there. We had a nice smooth sailing and barely any line, comparatively speaking, of course. So that was close to the snafu. I just had my little GoPro handle and they thought it was something else. It wasn't, I'm not like that. That rocking boat, that's the boat we're getting on. Do you think you're gonna get seasick? We're only going right there. <laughs> this boat is incredibly rocky right now. It is just swaying back and forth and it's a battle to see where you can get a spot. about walking yesterday. New York City. Alright, so here we are. There she is. Any words? It's massive. It's massive. Exclusive. Did you know that the Statue of Liberty doesn't really have much of an ass? What happened to her ass? She's got to get some squats in her system, because look at this. Look. Statue of Liberty needs to do some squats, because it's about time the Statue of Liberty gets an ass. Sure, she might be a little over 100 years old, but that's no excuse, Statue of Liberty. It's time to do some squats. It's time to get some ass. There were actually many statues. Small models like these to help shape my vision. Already spent weeks at sea. Usually, small, overcrowded steerage decks of massive steamships. They were often excited, exhausted, and anxious about what lay ahead. As they neared the end of their journey, these immigrants were greeted by a number of overwhelming sights. Many of these same sights are visible to you today. Look at the Manhattan skyline. Imagine the awe of these new arrivals. Second stop of this Statue of Liberty tour, we are in Ellis Island.
Thank you. All right, so we just ate here. What's this place called? King. Well, anyway, we just ate here. It was awful, awful. Probably the worst Chinese food I've ever had in my life. Just about the worst Chinese food I've ever had in my life. We did walk some up though, so we can give it to somebody who's homeless on the street. We're gonna go find some real Chinese food. I shouldn't say real, we're gonna go find some good Chinese food. Cause that place is awful. Yeah, so we're in the heart of Chinatown right now. We really did think we were gonna find some pretty bomb ass food. But that just, just did not happen. Looks like it's gonna be Joe Shanghai. Let's give it a shot. So, Joe's Shanghai, much better. Much, much better than that last shithole we went to. Make sure I don't get hit by a car here. It was just way, way better. I did some sesame chicken, which is really good. She did some uh, lo mein and she did... There were um, dumplings, they were delicious. It was crab meat and pork. We were both satisfied. Now, back to the hotel, then to the top of the rock. Here's 368. This is a, uh, looks a little bit better on TV, but this is uh, the 368 Studios where Casey does his stuff. There's something you don't see every day. A mitzvah tank. Hava, Nadila, Hava, Nadila, Hava. So we attempted to go to the top of the rock. We tried to do it for sunset, but the only time available was 9.30. It's okay, because we're gonna go back tomorrow for sunset, and now we're in Central Park having a couple drinks. Yeah, it's a beautiful night, and we are drinking Sweet Baby Jesus Chocolate Peanut Butter Porter. All right, so we're in a themed bar and all the shots and drinks have a theme. So from what I gather, if you're gonna do a shot, they start playing the music of the shot you do. So we're gonna do the Game of Thrones Winter is Coming shot. Do Winter is Coming. Of course, the show's on. All right. The snow is falling. Winter is here. Oh, shit. Coming shots. just the Barcelona bar. It's a themed bar and all the shots and drinks have some sort of a movie theme or a TV show theme and when you do it they play the music as we just did the Game of Thrones theme. Winter, oh, is, coming. winter is coming shots. They give us two swords. They put some blood up on the table and we took the shots. It was pretty good. That place is cool. Highly recommend it.
at the very infamous Times Square. to pet a dog. We're two very happy people. Let's go get some New York pizza and let's call it a night. So it turns out what we came across was an Amazon show called The Hunter. Well, holy shit, look what we got here. Some giant slices of pizza. Pizza. Oh, look at her going town. New York style buffalo chicken pizza. Look at this fucking monster. Holy guacamole. I only got about two bites out of that pizza. And I'm not even a tenth of the way through. We got pepperoni, we got sausage. We'll get some cardio to do in the morning. Uh oh. Mm. Alright, so we're on a ferry, about to go over to the Brooklyn Bridge. Should be quite exciting. We did it like that, and now we do it like this. We did it like that, and now we do it like this. <laughs> yeah. Now clock kids who got the cocaine. Don't tell me it's the little kids on so train. The metaphor. Alright, so we're about to go walk over the Brooklyn Bridge. Just over here. about to go up to the top of Rockefeller Center. Snafus are pending. It's supposed to rain. It's supposed to lightning. It's supposed to thunder. But we have tickets for sunset. The sun is supposed to set in about an hour. It's a little cloudy. So far, so good. That never happened. Before. We are now headed up to the top observation deck here. Here we go. been a big ass man but I'm here looking for ass in New York City and I think I just found the mother of all asses
Am I gone? She's gonna go meet her mom. And I finally have time to myself. Thank you. So now it's you, me, and New York City. Free to do whatever I want in Central Park. Got a sub. The Celtics game is about to start. So I got my Celtics game ready to go. I got my sub ready to go. I got a time lapse going. I'm in Times Square. I'm doing my thing. And now where I do rest my head, I keep getting beat up. Guys, I keep getting attacked for simply trying to survive. I'm not the right one. Take your own booty pants off. 
She didn't even move. <laughs> she might be dead. I may have just pranked my dead girlfriend. Hey! Wake the f up! <laughs> <laughs> We've been here for about six days now. We haven't had a chance to see a good sunset because it's been super overcast each day. Or we've been doing something else, but most of the time it's just been super overcast. Today it rained all day, but it does appear that we might get a sunset. We have reservations to eat dinner tonight, two blocks that way. I'm running two blocks this way because I can't miss out on a sunset. I just have to find an opening between one of these buildings, but I don't know where I am. Oh, it's a bitchin' sunset. I really gotta find a spot. I think I can get into the park this way. Here we go! I made it! I made it! successful run, huh? Never did I think it would be worth it to be late to dinner, especially when it's the best barbecue food I've ever had in my life. But luck, it was 100% worth it. I would do it again, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it the next day, I'll continue to do it because that sunset was badass. And I hadn't seen a sunset yet here in New York. It's a good way to uh, end the trip. All right, let's go run back and get some barbecue food.